Hello, my name is Ivana and I would love to share my idea with you. Let me start with a question. Do you know that more than 50% of all dogs on the planet can be treated every day? By mistreated, I mean letting them live in a total lack of water without any kind of shelter or even abandoned by the masters. You may think that mistreating dogs is a very small problem, but you couldn't be more wrong. This is a big deal and it is affecting us even when we are not able to see it. But I don't want to get into business yet. Let me share with you this experience. One day, some years ago, I arrived home from my music lessons. As soon as I opened the door, mom welcomed me carrying this super tiny dog in her hands. Just up as if what a little girl should react to something like that, I freaked out. Another thing, I went straight to the sofa so I could have some knocked up fat moment. Mom attacked again, asking me to touch the puppy, and I decided to stand my ground. I was not going to touch that thing. Not then, not never, unless of course that never arrived way any sooner than expected. And time went by, and so my powerful decision about not having any kind of attachment to the dog. I started seeing the little piece of, of living thing as a creature. No, don't get me wrong. It evolved from, from an undesired object into a creature. It was a matter of establishing limits. So I said, dog, I will let you be as long as you let me be. Go and have a nice life in my house, and I'll do the same. Do not expect too much from me, as I won't be expecting anything from you. From this moment and on, we will be living under the same roof, but we are life I mean far away from each other. It was a perfect deal for both of us, until I saw it with my very eyes. That deal was made to be broken. The dog, by doing nothing special, was calling for me, somehow. I couldn't stop looking at it. I was asking myself if the dog was fine or if it needed something. I began checking if feeding signs at home were followed properly. I wondered if it was feeling right and happy. That was it. That was my breaking point. Once I started asking if the dog was happy at home, I knew it. The dog embolded again. It was not a dog anymore. It was my pet. And by the gods, no pet on the my roof will never feel a need. Did I love my pet? I didn't. Well, not at, the, not at the beginning, but I do now. I not only respect my pet, I care about it. It's a common important part of my life. It holds a very special place in my heart and mind. And the most important thing, I want to see it happy. I will work hard, even for a teenager like myself, to let it know I'm right there at her side. Now, this experience changed the way I saw dogs, but it wasn't all me. My family got caught too. We definitely understand dogs way better than before. We are able to care and love a dog. And here's where I want to go back to the very beginning of my talk. Half of the dog population gets mistreated every day. And it shattered my heart. How is that possible? Who do we think we are by having the power to solve a problem and let it go just because? Why have we turned a numb, blind eye to this situation? Why is there a problem with dogs? The answer to all these questions lays right there next to my bed. Believe it or not, humans th go through the same experience I had then, and as I work myself, the rest of us should do it soon. But think about this just for a second. If every human on this planet had a chance to make a deal with a dog just as I did before, they will understand and see things from a proper angle. And I think the humans need the chance to get along with dogs, to know them closer, and so better. Humans need to understand somehow that our happiness and their happiness are linked to each other, and we get the best part of it. We get the opportunity to make them feel loved and protected no matter what. Someone asked the other day, do you think that humans have enough time to deal with this problem while having way bigger issues to solve? Don't get me wrong, but humans could solve this one in no time. It demands no big effort or money from us. 
We just need to open our eyes, extend our arms, and respect the dog as they respect us. Is that very hard to do? Does that involve a huge and complex understanding mental processes? Respecting, caring, and loving the dog is not rocket science. Just in case, let me enlighten your way. Stay next to a dog. Do not be aggressive. Look at its eyes and let it know you're there. Let it know you have its back. Let it feel how... What you feel when a friend understands you. Only if you're brave enough, dare yourself and touch it. That little moment will bring amazing benefits to both lives. I have this feeling that from this moment and on, you and I will try our best to make this issue about our dog friends disappear forever. Thank you very much.